down here at the side of the road, it's easy to understand the parents' concern. Looking that way, the vision of the crossing is shielded by a corner, and looking the other way, there's a crest just before the crossing, and think about the height of a small child. In fact, there's really no way I'd like to attempt to cross this road. In fact, there's no way I'd like to stop for this pedestrian crossing if I was driving, because I'd say there's a very good chance of getting cleaned up by traffic coming from behind. I've seen trucks go through here at certainly well over 60 kilometres an hour, and in fact, if I was to step out now, that car would have absolutely no hope of stopping for me in the crossing, as you can see. How long are the parents willing to keep their children out of school while the road is in this state? Well, we had a meeting on Monday afternoon, and the next meeting is this Friday afternoon, and they was indefinite. So what will you do? You'd rather keep them at home and away from school altogether than expose them to this risk? Yes. Uh, we've got to get the message across somehow. How do you think this state of affairs has occurred? Is it because people are making decisions without coming here and seeing how dangerous it is? Well, I don't really think you can see it properly on a map. Um, if you look at it on a map, it's, it's just a length of road. But when you get here and see the terrain and everything else, it's, it is dangerous, and that's all there is to it. What sort of action do you want from the government before you'll send the children back to school? Will traffic lights do it, or a traffic warden directing traffic here, or does it have to be a bridge? Well, we would like a bridge, an underpass. Uh, that would be our ultimate aims, but um, there is uh, traffic lights. Um, the road warden, uh, I mean, when, what is one road warden going to get across a road when three teachers can't get them across?